Hi again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word in this Holy Week season, this period of time between Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday. So we think about Jesus going to the cross, dying so that we could be saved, so that we could be forgiven and given a new life and a right relationship with God. Today we're reading in Romans chapter 5, verses 6 to 8, which talks about this very thing. It says, When we were utterly helpless, Christ came at just the right time and died for us sinners. Now, most people would not be willing to die for an upright person, though someone might perhaps be willing to die for a person who is especially good. But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. That's amazing. Thinking about the sacrifice on behalf of somebody who did not deserve it at all. In fact, somebody who would be considered an enemy. You know, I, you know I, sometimes I think about people who make these um, complete sacrificial, you know, giving up their life to save someone. And, you know, sometimes it's like somebody that is a family member and you can understand that somebody that is they're especially close to, they're willing to sacrifice their life for. There are occasions where you know about people who go to, you know, firefighters and people like that who will go and save, sacrificing themselves for somebody that they don't know. What if you knew that person was your enemy? What if you knew that person was especially evil? Would that dissuade you at all? Well, the reality is that God knew everything about our worst qualities, our worst rebellious attitudes, the things that keep us from having that right relationship with God. It's not just what other people would observe from the outside. God knows everything within, everything in our heart, everything in our mind, those things that are hidden, that are ugly, that we don't want other people to know. God knows it all. And yet, amazingly, he sent his own son to die and suffer so that we could experience forgiveness, so that we could be made new in him, that we could have a relationship with God. <laughs> we didn't deserve it. We still don't deserve it. But it's God's love and character that makes that possible for us. That is good news. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this amazing love that you demonstrated by sending your son to suffer and die the most horrific, painful way of dying. And not only that, but the, the incredible spiritual pain of taking on the sins of all of us so that we could then experience forgiveness and have that right standing with you. Lord, there's no way that we could express our gratitude except to live our life in the joy and confidence that Christ's death and resurrection has made possible. So we pray that we would live into what it means to truly be your child, to be following you with our whole heart and letting others know this good news is for them as well. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So once again in Romans chapter 5, verses 6 to 8. When we were utterly helpless, Christ came at just the right time and died for us sinners. Now, most people would not be willing to die for an upright person, though someone might perhaps be willing to die for a person who is especially good. But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. Thank you, Lord. And let's uh, live a life of celebration for that good news. Have a great day. Take care.